Hi, this is Mario with Mario's Math Tutoring. In this video, we're going to be quickly going through seven important formulas you want to know for the ACT math section. So let's get right into this video. I do want to mention that if you find this video helpful and you want to dig in deeper, uh, I've got an ACT math video course available. It's, um, it's called a huge ACT math review. It goes through 65 concepts uh, that are important and helpful to know to uh, master the ACT math section. And I'll have a link for that. But let's get into this video talking about uh, the first formula, which is expected value. And essentially what expected value is, is what you would expect to get on average if you were to run a number of trials, uh, you know, a number of trials over and over again, given the outcomes, which are the X values here, and then the probability of those outcomes occurring. And you can see from this formula, it looks a little complicated, but it's not as, as difficult as it looks. Basically what you're doing is you're taking, you know, the outcome, which in this case would be eight, like say for example, you know, you were doing some kind of experiment, eight was the outcome, and you say, well, what's the probability of that outcome, uh, 20%. You would multiply these together, 8 times 0 0.20. You would multiply this outcome, 9 times the probability that it happens, okay, and then 10 times the probability that it occurs, and then you would add those together, and that would be what you would expect to get on average over a long number of trials. So this is an important formula to know for the ACT expected value. The second formula that we're looking at here is slope, and that's another important formula to know for the ACT math section. And you can see the formulas right here. You learned this before in your math class, but basically you're taking the difference in the Y values divided by the difference in the X values. And one thing you want to pay attention to is that the order is important. So you can do Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, and that'll give you the slope or the angle of the line. Okay, or you could reverse it. You could say Y1 minus Y2 over X1 minus X2. Again, that'll also give you an idea of the angle of the line. Okay, but what you don't want to do is do y2 minus y1 over x1 minus x2. See how I switched up the order? You don't want to do that because you'll get a, a different result. So knowing slope uh, is important for the ACT. Uh, things like whether lines are parallel, they have the same slope, or perpendicular, they have the opposite reciprocal slopes. Uh, but knowing this formula is definitely a good one for the ACT. The third formula we're looking at is the distance formula. So the distance formula is this right here. It's the difference between the two x coordinates of the points that you're trying to find the distance between squared plus the difference between the two y coordinates of the points that you're looking at, the distance between squared. You add those quantities together and then you take the square root. And so that's how you would find the distance between two points. So another good formula to know for the mass section of the ACT. The fourth formula that we're looking at here for the mass section of the ACT is the midpoint formula. And basically what the midpoint formula does is it finds the point that's halfway in between two endpoints. And what you do is you add the x coordinates of the two points together and divide by two. And then you add the y coordinates of the two points together and divide by two. So it's like finding an average. But when you do that, this is going to be the coordinate of the midpoint, the point again halfway between the two endpoints. So again, another important formula to know, uh, midpoint. The fifth formula that we're looking at here for the math section of the ACT is the Pythagorean theorem. And the Pythagorean theorem just helps us to find the missing side in a right triangle. So if you have a right triangle like this and the two legs are the A and the B sides, the one that's across from the right angle, that's the hypotenuse, that's called the C side. And as long as you know A squared plus B squared equals C squared, you can solve for any one of the missing sides in a right triangle. So Pythagorean theorem, another good one to know for the math section of the ACT. Okay, the sixth formula that we're looking at here in this video is probability. And what probability is, it's the chance that something can happen. But as far as the formula goes, you take the number of successes, basically what you want, divided by the total possible outcomes, the total number of things that could happen. So, for example, if you just, a very basic example, if you had a hat, and in the hat there was one red marble, and uh, let's say there was two blue marbles, right? And you say, well, what's the probability I pick a red marble? Well, it's one chance, right? One success out of three possible, the probability would be one third. Uh, so this is just a very basic example, but this is a good formula that you want to know for the math section of the ACT. Okay, last but not least, the average formula is an important one for the math section of the ACT. So what an average is, is you take up the total divided by how many that you're averaging, and that gives you the average. So for example, if you're trying to figure out what your average test score is, you would add up all the points from your, your tests and you would divide by the number of tests that you took and that would be your average. But uh, on the ACT, sometimes they'll you know, give you the average and you might have to find out how many tests there were or what the total is or what one of the missing test scores are. 
like that. But if you know this formula, you can substitute in what you know, solve for what you don't know. So this has just been a real quick video about the key formulas that you want to know for the mass section of the ACT. But like I said at the beginning, if you want to go deeper, I recommend the huge ACT math review video course that I have available on my Myers Math Tutoring YouTube channel. Uh, about page. I've got a link there and I'll put a link in this video. So definitely check that out and uh, good luck on the math section uh, of the ACT.